A quarter of a million pounds, 22 identical sealed boxes, and no questions. Except one. Deal or no deal? In this super luxurious dream factory, once again, we're about to do battle with you-know-who. And we had a fantastic Sunday game. Tony, had been over there, came here with his ambition, which was revealed to be ownership of a racehorse. Now, that's fairly unusual. And it immediately sent the signal that he needed to win some very, very big money. And we got him up to 20,000 quite quickly. And then he went. He dealt. And if he'd stayed there for just a few more moments, there was 80,000. Then we had the awful moment. Did he have the quarter of a million here? Was it actually going to be discovered after something like 105 games? As it turned out, thankfully, he didn't have it. We still retain the belief that it's going to come here very, very soon. What we did prove yesterday is it is going to require someone with that little bit of extra beyond Tony courage, to actually get it. 22 identical sealed boxes, 11 in the West Wing, 11 in the East Wing. And these 22 different sums of money, a quarter of a million, bottom right. I wonder which player has got it at the moment. It's out there somewhere. What we've now got to do is marry the box with the player that's competing. So, let's make our selection. <laughs> Are you about to pick up a box containing a quarter of a million pounds? Lynn! <laughs> it's your big moment, Lynn. Please come to the crazy chair. Does it feel like a quarter of a million pounds? Yes, it does. It does? Definitely. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are you? <laughs> so are we. Yes. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Do you want to sit down or stand up? I'm or whatever? sit down. Yeah. Lynn Hackles. Yes. From Pembrokeshire. Yes. Whereabouts? Aberkeek. Never heard of that. <laughs> no. No one else has. It's in North Pembrokeshire, a little tiny village. A freelance writer of short stories for women's magazines. Yes. Be careful what you say. Maybe taken down in writing and used later. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration from? Most it's a dialogue from people. This must have been a feast. <laughs> yes. I'm going to have to write another novel and put them all in it. <laughs> yeah. Right. But, I mean, seriously, you've been at the hotel for a while. I mean... Yes. Have there been any little storylines that have emerged that you can see well, changing might, the names? You and... know, things that you want to happen, you write as well. I did get in the lift one morning with a very nice American pilot. And for some reason, we went up to the tenth floor by mistake. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your husband, Colin, is again. with us. <laughs> <laughs> and Colin. nothing happened, but I can make it happen. I can make it so happen. So when the story gets to the world. women's magazine, something happens between yeah. the... Ground floor and the tenth floor. Mm, I might even have the lift breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, help me here. Come on. <laughs> How long have you guys been married? Thirty-nine years. Thirty-nine years. Yeah. How old were you when you got married? Nineteen. Lynn was seventeen. Crumbs. We're best mates, best friends, we do everything together, so couldn't be better. Great. Aww. Great. <laughs> Anything else we need to say, or shall we? No, we can get on. on if you like. We can, can't we? Yeah. 
The sooner we beat the banker, the better. Yes, <laughs> that's the attitude. Uh, housekeeping, I need you to confirm that before the show you chose box number eight at random. Yes, I did. Sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes and it's the only person who knows where the money is. Oh, by the way... Mm -hmm. Good luck! Yay! 18, Lucy, please. You're a lovely lady. I'm really sorry to see you go. Good luck. Simon, number 16, please. That's OK. <laughs> One thousand. I'm treating it like my wardrobe. I don't do blue. So that board is my wardrobe. I'm going to get rid of all the blue. And the next one is... Um... I think we're losing you already. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven, please, Shed. Go on, Shed. Good luck, Lynn. I hope your story has a fairy tale ending. Oh! Thank you. Oh, he's oh, such a smoothie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, love. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I've got so. to calm down. I shouldn't have chosen that one. It was two ones. What? I had box one four times. And my room number is 111. I shouldn't have chosen that one, should I? But I'll say Quarter one. of a million has gone. 100,000. Do me. Um, I'll have Lynn, number two. <laughs> Do you <laughs> through me? <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder what that was for a moment, but yes. we're back to Tony's game. To yes. Tony's game he, it was a wonderful moment there where he went, Margaret. Oh, no, Lynn. Lynn, <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> so, uh, Lynn, two. Now you are writing the script yeah. from hell. Hundred thousand. Mike, you got a feeling for that one? You can tell me, I won't hold it against you. Natalie. No. No. Sorry. Twenty two AD, please. Definitely blow this one. Go on, AD. I hope so. It's gotta be. Oh, sit down. Well, would you like to tell us about the story so far? Well, I do write twist endings. Do you? Yeah, so there could be a good twist to this one. There better be. Mm-hmm. Hello. You love the story so far. <laughs> Do you know, that's nearly witty. He thinks it is brilliant, the way in which you've killed off your two main characters in the opening chapter. Ah, <laughs> oh, but he's the main character in the game, isn't he? Ooh, how about that for an accolade? A compliment, you are the main character in the game. And I'd kill him off. And she would like <laughs> to kill you off. <laughs> Kindred spirits with a warped imagination. That's what he says about you. Thank you. Yes, I think there has to be a twist in the plot. He talks about it being a tale, not of two cities, of 22 cities, the best of times, the worst of times. And do you know what he's done? He has once again underlined, so remember this, guys, that every single thing you say, he remembers, he notes, and he feeds off. Hotel room number? <laughs> one, one, one. Oh, is he coming round tonight? Any Collins here I can arrange? <laughs> <laughs> That's your offer, £111. Ooh. You can ask me the question. 
111 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. David. Good luck, Len. I mean, hope it's a really low blue for you. Gonna be blue for you. So we are now at the point where the first chapter is nearly over. We need to write a different storyline here. Mustn't go with any more large numbers. Where do you think you're going to go after the break? Oh, I'm going to try and get back on this planet. <laughs> um, um, no, I don't want to dither. I'll have a think during the break. Okay. This is an anti-dither zone. <laughs> do come back. I know you will. Hi, I'm Ian. The writer of short stories for women's magazines is producing, at the moment, a very uncomfortable script line. Two principal characters in your story have been destroyed in the first chapter. What's going to happen at the end of chapter two? We're going to do a bit of polishing and tweaking now to get it into shape. Right. Where are we going? Neil, because his light's gone dim. <laughs> Could have a blue, please, Neil. She would like a blue. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we now know that the quarter million hasn't come to the table, the hundred thousand isn't in box eight, and there isn't five hundred pounds in box eight. Hello. Slight improvement. Yes, he's unhappy when the one P goes from the game and for mm -hmm. the fifty P to go as well. He doesn't like that. I don't like making people you, unhappy, you know, but I'll make an exception with the band. Oh right, okay, good. <laughs> Likewise, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. he said. He says the idea that you will walk out of here with any meaningful money at all is an enormous work of fiction. <laughs> he therefore would like you to take £4,111. <laughs> different circumstances we could collaborate. <laughs> right, I'm ready for the question now. Four thousand one hundred and eleven pounds, Lynn. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> Go I come back to you, Mike. Three. Because I thought I'd have Mike earlier though. Well, I asked him if he got a feel for his box, because... Because you do get tingly winglies, don't you, sometimes? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Oh, you've not had a tingly wingly? Not with this one, no. <laughs> if I had, I would have told her I would have definitely helped, but uh, I haven't with this one, sorry. Oh, Mike okay. has no tingly wingly. Make it blue, please, Mike. Oh, sure. Thank you, Mike. I'm, I'm drawn to Steve. Can I have a blue, please, Steve? <laughs> Try my best, Lynn. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. One pound. Yeah. 
Do you realise since you took out the 100,000, you have managed six blues in a row? Mm -hmm. The longest run of blues we ever had was eight. A chap called Matt. Alistair managed seven. seven. You're at six. Mm -hmm. I could do 15, please, Maggie. You sure? Yeah. Can I have a blue, please, Maggie? I'm trying my best. Good work. Thank you. Thank you. Well, seven blues in a row mm -hmm. is quite something. Hello. Unbelievable, he says. It's been said before. <laughs> you wish to come to an arrangement with her? She wants a word with me. <laughs> oh, I will be gentle with you, yes. <laughs> um, OK. I'll think about it. You're always in charge of the endings, right? What, what's your favourite novel, Mr Bunker? Catch-22, right. <laughs> Would you like to speak to Noel? I'll pass you to Noel. Thank you. Bye. See you later. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Had a bit of a hit there. Thank you. What do you think it's going to be? There has been a theme. Catch 22. 22,000. <laughs> That has already been a theme that has been established <laughs> in the offers. Oh yes, one, 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 one. A million. <laughs> one hundred and eleven thousand one hundred and eleven. It ain't. All right. I'll leave you to work the rest out. Eleven thousand. Yes. One hundred. Yes. And eleven. And eleven. One, 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 one. Um, can you ask them all for me quickly? And what am I asking them? What they do. I want to know the wimps. OK, it's what you would do, so no opt-out. No deal. 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 Ready? No deal. No deal. No deal. You can ask me the question then. Eleven thousand. One hundred and eleven pounds. A deal or no deal? No deal. No. Thank you. <laughs> the only other player to do eight blues in a row was Matt. You are one box away from equaling the deal or no deal record. 21. Lindsay, you've gone really faint. 21, please. Before you fade away completely, would you open the box? Very best of luck, Lynn. No. Oh. That's a perfect. Disappointing for all those who love the statistics mm. of this extraordinary game, but uh, that was no it was problem. It's purple, isn't it? Because, yeah. you know, it's yeah. not blue, it's not red. But... It's kind of just stuck there. Anna Marie, please, 13. Could I have a blue, please? I'll try. That's okay. Five thousand. There seem to be what? More boxes and oh and we're more not losing you now. <laughs> Tony no, went focus, through this. Focus. Yeah, I'll have a little walk. <laughs> I think we do need to freshen you up. Come on, come on, let's go for a limp. Right. We'll see you uh, we'll see you after the break. Hi. Hi, Ian. You 
We've still got a fabulous cast there. I was going to say, yeah. go first instincts, ten, please. Yeah. Can I have a blue, please, Ian? We'll dispense with break a leg, but just good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Since you took out those two big ones, you've just been coming up and up and up and up and look at it. It's like my year. My year started rubbish. Did it? It's ending brilliantly. I'm yep. here with you. What more could a girl ask for? <laughs> Answers on a postcard <laughs> to... Oh, no. Are we waiting for the banker? What else do you think we're waiting Six, for? Seven, eight. Yeah, eight. I, lo I do lose count. It's very easy to lose count. Hello. They have. The last three rounds have been spectacular. He said he's unhappy after that round, but the preceding two he wasn't very happy with. Uh. Go on. Thank you. Ah, that's good. What you've created here is such a tight board mm -hmm. that it's very difficult for him to do anything other than make a substantial offer that hopefully you will take seriously. £21,111. Can I ask Ned, because he's, he's sensible? <laughs> Thank you. Len, uh, what I do, I carry on still now, because um, yeah. if you touch, say, the 35 or the 50, as long as you only touch one of them, you're still going to be OK. Obviously, you can't touch the 75. And there's still two blues and three amounts less than that, so there's five to go for. Thanks, Ned. OK. Yeah, looks good, doesn't it? You can ask me the question, no. £21,111. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. OK, try and keep the game safe, you Well, I've created. already decided which number I was going to. Yeah, so. good. I'm going to go with Ned, please. Can okay, I have Ned. a blue, please, Ned? OK, Lynn, good luck. Hope it doesn't Thank match you. the colour of your hair. Go. Uh, didn't want that one. That's 35,000. It was inevitable they looked too tidy. I forget why I'm keeping them now. 17 because I got married at 17. 19 because Colin got married at 19. Why did I keep 14? Lisa, can I, can I have 14, please? Concentrate and focus. It would be unbelievable if the next one is 10p. Could I have a blue, please, Brian? If I can do it for you, Lynn, I will. You're a fabulous lady. The best of luck. Oh, um, no. 50,000. No, I didn't deserve that. It gets harder. Can't afford to take 75,000 out, can I? No. Um, Donna, can I... No! <laughs> Hello. Well, she just wants to go all the way, which is something you should really worry about. 75,000 is still in play. She believes it's here. I keep saying tricky. Well, while he makes up his mind, I'm going to go and have a magic cuddle off that mummy. Oh, right, OK. She's having a cuddle. There's a bit of cuddle stuff going on. The, the, the lucky cuddle seems to have come into play in the last few games. Right. Ooh. Well, that took him a long time. 
19,111, despite the fact that you took out two huge sums of money. 19,111. What do you think, Ned? Really good offer, Lynn, because as I say, you've done damage there. Um, I know I've done it. We've talked about what you're going to do back in the hotel, but you know, have a serious think about that offer, Lynn. That's a very nice offer, and I could do a lot with it, but I always said I'd only be here once. Well done, I'm Lynn. Not going to chip you out. That's what we like. That's what we like, and what he hates and dreads. Fabulous. So you can ask me now. Nineteen thousand one hundred and eleven pounds, Lynn. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Nineteen, please, Donna. Now, Donna, obviously it mustn't be the seventy-five thousand, but if you can wipe out the ten p with this, we're starting to move into really comfortable territory. Good luck, Lynn. Thank you. 20,000's gone. Big gap now. That 75 looks really exposed. Oh, we're getting to the end of the story. The final chapter. Can we guess how the tale turns out? Jay, please, number 17. Can you make it that little blue one? I will do my very, very, very best. Please. Jay? Please don't give us a horrible ending to her story. Thank you. 15,000, you play it, yeah. That's fine. Playing it dangerously. <laughs> Everything rights on this. One or six? Six has cropped up a lot of times in our life. Yeah. I'll keep six. I'll go with Amanda, please. Amanda, please produce the blue. I hope it's the 10p. Good luck, Ken. Ten thousand. That's all right. Ten thousand. What a finale yeah, you've got. Some ducks. Yeah, what a finale. <laughs> wow. And as you just said to me, I don't know whether everybody heard, and now I've got to have some guts. Yee. Mm. Oh, he's having a good think. He's having a very, very good think. He's going to have to offer me 76 to get rid of me. <laughs> Hello. I know where you're going. Thank you. You got your wish. <laughs> he is offering you 76. Yeah, something in front and then 76 pence. <laughs> no, 76 pounds. <laughs> With 22,000 in front. He clearly believes the 10p is here, not the 75,000. Can I have a sweep, please? No. Yes. And the question is, do they think I've got the guts to carry on? So, yes. so it's yes. yes, it's yes or no, guys. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Definitely yes. <laughs> yes. Big yes. Without a doubt, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Without a doubt. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? No, OK. <laughs> you can ask me the question, no. Look <laughs> <laughs> at this reaction. <laughs> Went 
72,076 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. <laughs> Most popular players. Oi! Shall I swap? Hello. Six. Ten people, you know. Okay. Go Happy good. ending or tragedy, <laughs> it's now your choice. You may have a swap. Big with what you got. I've stuck with what Where I've had been? all these years, yes, regardless. <laughs> I want my camper van. <laughs> I'm retiring if we get the 75. <laughs> Buying a camper van and then we're away. Okay. I need you to confirm whether you want to swap or not. No, I don't want to swap. Okay. Well, undoubtedly one of our most popular players. Hopefully, we are about to immerse ourselves in justice. A lot of money. Yes! Okay. And you made him happy because yeah. he's just got to finish it off with said Pete. Go on, Jim, open it up. <laughs> Colin, really enjoy yourself. Oh, I, I hope I hope the money brings you a lot of happiness. Lynn, <laughs> I tell you something, we're gonna miss you. Yeah. <laughs> Well done, well done. I was just about, I, was, I like that about it. I'm so, so pleased it worked out that way. Wow. Now, we've got to uh, just shift the, uh, the focus slightly. It's your turn to find out if you're about to win some really good money. Up to £10,000 is available in one of these boxes. Who are you? Rose. Rose. Rose, one, two, or three? Two. Thank you. Number two, what are the contents? £2,000. <laughs> and would you open the other two, please, girls? <laughs> Congratulations to you, with 2000 Congratulations to Lynn <laughs> and Colin. <laughs> We've got £75,000. <laughs> and it proves if you bring that colour, the style, the warmth, the energy and the positivity. You can beat the banker and you can win the life-changing money. I think you'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye.